let's move on to the consecutive reaction this will occur here and this will occur here that's your consecutive reactions the reaction in which the reactant forms an intermediate and the intermediate forms the product in one or more subsequent reactions are called as consecutive or sequential reactions in such a reaction the product is not formed directly from the reactant various steps in the consecutive reactions are shown a will give b and b will give c a will give b with k1 as constant it's a rate constant and here the k2 a is the reactant b is the intermediate and c is the product initially only the reactant a will be present as the reaction starts a produces an intermediate value b through k1 rate constant as and when b is formed it forms the product c through k2 rate constant after the completion of uh, the reaction only c is present and concentration of a and b will become zero let's move on to a simple example of uh, saponification of a diester in the presence of alkali i got cor cs2 so diethyl dimethyl so it's ethyl so i got methane and you can give the number here so it's ester diester in the presence of k1 or alkali this r will become replaced by oh you got this one and in the presence of alkali more here r will be replaced by oh once again you got cooh COH in the mid you got CS2 so here is a reactant it got an intermediate product from there you got the exact product